a good free photo editor for artists or anyone that wants to use something to edit photos, I would recommend either using raw therapy or Digital Photo Professional, DPP for short. It's made by Canon, and I use both of them for when I'm editing my photos because I started getting into photography a lot recently. And I was using raw therapy, but some of the functions that are on DPP, I prefer over raw therapy. So I have both of them right now that I'm using because on raw therapy, it gives me more options for um, changing black highlights and some of the highlights in a lot of the photos, whereas Digital Photo Professional works really good with um, changing colors. It has little, little sliders that are on there that you can select for blue, aqua, yellow, red, and orange, uh, magenta, green. And it's got little sliders where you can select or you can raise or lower the hue of it or the saturation and the brightness of it. And there's a photo that I edited that I had, had um, took of the train tracks. And in that photo, it's black and white, but it has a little bit of orange in it. And I used DPP to do that. Then after that, I put it into raw therapy to um, you know, fix some of the highlights. And what I like about DPP, or Digital Photo Professional, is that it has a better auto fix. Like I say, if you want to do something real quick and you just want to get some photos up that you're not you're not really worried about trying to make them look you know professional and amazing everything you just want to upload them to say uh, a social media or onto uh, anything else Google Maps whatever it is it has really good auto uh, fixing on it the contrast on there is a bit higher than if you're using raw therapy but I do prefer using it um, the only issue I do have with it is that it's, it runs a little bit slow compared to raw therapy on my computer at least um, because I'm using Windows. I'm not sure if the difference if you're using Windows, if you're using Mac or anything like that. I haven't looked into that, but I noticed that it runs a little bit slow on my computer. Um, that's the only issue I have. So that's why I have both of them at the moment. So if there's something I want to do on raw therapy that I can't do on the other one, I just use on that. And it's a really good combo of of using those two and I had downloaded Digital Photo Professional about two weeks ago and I'm still kind of stuck I'm not really sure which one I should stick with but if you have any suggestions about which one would be better um, I prefer using the free ones at the moment because I'm not really a professional photographer or anything so that's why I'm not really going to pay or anything yet but if there's any other free ones that you recommend, just let me know. But for me personally, at the time, I'm using Raw Therapy and Digital Photo Professional. Um, and I'll continue using those until I get to a point to where I feel that I need something better. Something that's more professional for my photos. To where I feel that I'm at a point to where I'm more professional. Um, I'll then switch to using that. So, thank you for watching. And if you have any suggestions, go ahead and let me know.